The largest telescope ever built by humans is finally ready and set to take its flight in December. A joint project of NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency, the James Webb Space Telescope is the most ambitious, complex, and expensive telescope ever built. It is a time machine that will take us back to our origins, observe some of the oldest galaxies in the universe, image new planets forming around other star systems, and even probe the planets of our solar system. In addition, it will shed light on some of the most exciting mysteries of our universe. However, the telescope's journey from being proposed to finally being ready for launch has been quite a roller coaster ride. I know every launch requires meticulous planning and preparation, but for Webb, this process began about 25 years ago. Webb's development began in 1996, and that too with a $500 million budget at hand. Space scientists and engineers initially planned to launch it in 2007, but the project was continuously plagued by management problems, technical challenges, budget overruns, which eventually led to many scheduled delays. In 2005, Webb even underwent a significant redesign. Afterward, Webb's launch was planned for March 2020, but the coronavirus pandemic struck and caused major setbacks. But now, it's time for celebrations, as Webb is finally ready and all put together. The overall assembly of Webb has been a very delicate affair, with several steps involved. The James Webb Space Telescope is a beast consisting of various components manufactured at separate places under expert guidance. And after the manufacturing of all the components was completed, the most crucial step was to have an exceptionally clean and large room where all the elements of the giant telescope could be safely kept and assembled. So, to achieve this, scientists and engineers used the High Bay Clean Room at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. It is a 1.3 million cubic foot room, making it one of the largest of its kind in the world. Moreover, it includes an entire wall of HEPA air filters, which provides aid in stopping contaminants such as dirt and dust from reaching the telescope's sensitive optics. As we know, the primary mirror is the heart of any telescope. And when it comes to Webb, its primary mirror is comprised of 18 hexagonal mirror segments, making its handling even more intricate. So, Webb's mirror segments were first brought to life at Beryllium Mines in Utah, and later, they moved across the USA for processing and polishing in specially constructed shipping canisters. And when the segments finally arrived at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, each of them was carefully examined for up to 90 minutes. The James Webb Space Telescope will capture the cosmic wonders in deep space, precisely being placed at the L2 point. This means that it is going to be extremely cold there, along with no traces of air. So how do we make sure that Webb will be able to withstand the frigid vacuum conditions of space? Well, to be confident of Webb's strength against such conditions, its instruments and optics underwent 100 days of cryogenic testing inside Chamber A, which is a massive thermal vacuum testing room at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston. It is the largest high vacuum cryogenic optical test chamber globally and was also used in the 1960s to assess hardware for the Apollo moon missions. Not only this, even before the real hardware for Webb was built and tested, an imitation of James Webb Space Telescope's optics, called the Optical Telescope Element Simulator, was subjected to space-like conditions in the Space Environment Simulator at Goddard. In this process, gold thermal blankets encase a system of supports and thermal control devices. These include a group of liquid nitrogen panels that help keep the simulator at about 100 kelvins close enough to the extreme temperatures that a telescope is expected to experience beyond Earth. The gold foil used to cover instruments during cryogenic testing is carefully handled. Unlike Hubble, James will be in a position where it would be impossible to send repair teams to fix the issues if something went wrong. 
So, such intensive and repeated testing helps to ensure that JWST will properly work once it reaches its destination. Webb's overall testing got wrapped up in August of 2021. The following month was well spent carefully folding the telescope into the correct configuration. Finally, on September 24th, a police escort accompanied JWST in its shipping container on a 26-mile journey through Los Angeles to Naval Weapons Station Seal Beach. You would be surprised to know that after all delays that Webb has gone through, this time, even the date of Webb's transfer to its launch location was kept a secret to protect it from any sea pirate's attack. Eventually, after safely reaching the Naval Weapons Station Seal Beach, JWST was loaded onto its ride to Kourou, French Guiana, where it would be launched via an Ariane 5 rocket. Once it is launched, JWST will set itself on its most crucial 29 days on edge. There are about 300 ways the James Webb Telescope could fail, so the four weeks after the launch will be the most nail-biting period of the mission. Webb will have two major tasks to complete during this period, deploying its giant sun shield and unfolding its primary mirrors. Once successfully placed into orbit, James Webb Space Telescope will be the largest space telescope at work. It will be the beginning of a new era of astronomy. Webb is an outcome of the thousands of scientists, engineers, and others who have toiled day and night to make it a reality. For some, working with Webb has almost been similar to raising their child. We hope all the efforts are paid off and Webb has a smooth ride ahead. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more.